set of tires for one of your customers represents a considerable investment for them. But if they drive away with a vibration complaint, you're going to have a comeback. So how do you resolve these issues? Sure, it's probably going to be a road test, typically above 55 to 65 miles an hour. This takes a lot of time, depending on where your shop is located. So how do you solve these problems? The first part, it's understanding the problem. Chances are the rim has run out and other issues that means that it's not running true. Also, tires can have issues with radial force variation. But there is a tool out there where you can align the two and cancel each other out. And this is the road force balancer. So just like a traditional balancer, it's going to measure static and dynamic forces inside the machine itself. It's also going to measure the rim with a combination of lasers and cameras. It's also going to measure the road force in the tire itself with this roller back here. Let's measure this assembly. First, you've got to check it has the proper inflation in this wheel. Next, let's close the hood. We can see that the rim itself causes two pounds of force variation. The tire itself causes another nine. Combined together with the radial average, well, we're looking at 18 pounds of road force variation. This can cause a vibration problem, and this machine has flagged it. So let's do a correction. So this screen is directing us to make two marks on the wheel and also the tire itself. So first, we'll mark the tire. Second, we're going to mark the wheel, and we do this by hitting the servo button. And now we're going to mark the rim. With the two marks on the wheel and tire, we'll now take it over to the tire changer to change the position of the tire on the rim to help cancel out these road forces. So we have the two marks lined up. If this is correct and the balancer measured the proper dimensions of the rim, in other words, run out and other forces, and the forces in the tire itself, these will help to optimize the total assembly. But there's one more thing that we can do. It's called bead massage. What it does is it forces the bead of the tire to come in contact with the lip of the rim so everything is seated properly. Let's do that. The bead has been massaged. So let's go back to our tire balancer. So we've managed to take between six and eight pounds of radial force variation out of this assembly. And we've now lowered that into the green zone. Chances are when this is on the vehicle, it's not gonna cause a vibration problem for the customer. Manager Markel, thank you very much.